culture as possibly humankind's greatest invention. Discovering the ability to grow food has not only enabled our species to survive, but to thrive. Humans have evolved and adapted according to the ages we lived in throughout history. So for a hydroponic system, we need a closed environment. Uh, we could also do it in the open uh, environment, but you need to control parameters like the sunlight, the humidity and the rain. So uh, we suggest a simple uh, DIY structure mostly for a household system or for a semi-commercial or commercial operation, we suggest a green shade net house or a poly house. Uh, which gives some sort of protection from uh, the rain and the sun. So if uh, there are several ways of doing this uh, polyhouse or greenhouse, like if you're looking at a more of a DIY structure, then you're looking somewhere around uh, 50 to 70 rupees per square feet where you procure the material and you call a local fabricator and get it built. Or if you're giving it to a company which uh, does the greenhouses, then it should cost you somewhere around uh, 120 rupees per square feet and if you have to get a proper professional poly house done with an FRP sheet or a poly sheet then it will cost you around 200 rupees a square feet. We've constantly found solutions and alternatives to meet our needs one way or the other. In today's age, with decreasing agricultural land, depleting groundwater levels and land degradation, we are faced with the challenge of finding an alternative to traditional farming. Adaptability being our strongest trait we have once again found a method to solve this particular conundrum. So uh, hydroponics can be done in an open field and in a closed environment. Uh, if you're doing it in an open field, then your production becomes very seasonal, as in you can't grow the cool season crops like lettuce, kale and uh, aragular during the summer months. You might need some production from the shade net. But if you don't have a shade net or if you just have a hydroponic system, then you can grow seasonal crops accordingly. So basically the NFT systems that we provide can be segregated into two segments based on the area that you have and based on the production you need. For example, if somebody had like six or eight square feet of area as well, uh, then we have a system which could fit 25 plants in that area. Or if somebody wanted, somebody had an area of 100 square feet, then we can give them a system according to that which has around 240 to 250 plants growing there, giving a yield of 20 kgs in every month. So we can also segregate the system based on the yield that you want. For example, a family of uh, four people want 10 kgs of greens uh, every month. Then we have a system which fits in 20 square feet and gives you 10 kgs of greens every month. So uh, the prices usually vary for an NFT system from somewhere around uh, 7,500, 8,000 rupees and goes upwards to 50,000 rupees. So these are your home kits. Hydrophonics is a method of growing plants without soil by feeding water and nutrients directly to the roots. It requires very little water compared to soil-based farming. The plant growth is faster and the yields are heavier as well. Since there is no soil involved, it's free of pests and garden plagues. We also have systems where we uh, grow the plants indoors. For example, uh, all the cool season crops like lettuce, kale and aragula are actually grown in, right in Chennai in the sweltering heat. So we grow them inside a room where we control the temperature and humidity and the lighting. So we provide the light using LED lights and that system setup cost would uh, come well somewhere around, uh, you know, probably close to double the cost of an outdoor system. So if you're looking at a thousand plant system uh, for an indoor system, it would cost you somewhere around uh, two and a half lakhs to two lakh eighty thousand and for a outdoor system for thousand plants it would cost you somewhere around a lakh and forty or to a lakh and fifty thousand. The space required for hydroponics farming is very little, allowing anyone with a small room space or terrace to start farming. The pandemic has made people more health conscious, so growing their own greens and vegetables would be an ideal and preferable option. The subsidy is for the polyhouses, it is for the drip irrigation, it is for the weed mats. But when it comes to the hydroponic system, there is no subsidy as of yet. But the Indian system is trying to get subsidies in hydroponic units as well to make it more sustainable and make it more accessible by the rural community. So now when it comes to the uh, planting material, we are using UPVC channels and these UPVC channels are manufactured as food grade. So we do not use any sort of heavy metal plasticizers in this and we do not recommend that because there is a leaching of heavy metals once we use uh, normal PVC pipes. So we recommend only using UPVC channels 
which do not have any heavy metal plasticizers. So this is 100% organic and no chemical leaching happens whatsoever. And again, this is free from all salmonella and E. coli, which is generally found in organic food. Here, we do not have any microbial activity that is taking place at all in the whole cultivation. India's hydrophonics market is estimated to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 13.57% by the end of 2027. As a sustainable way of farming with several huge benefits, hydrophonic farming is set to transform the agriculture sector. The opportunities for young, new entrepreneurs to propel themselves to the forefront of the agriculture industry are evident. Thank <laughs> you.